Students at Riverton High School today issued a challenge to drivers in Utah. Make the 100 deadliest days of summer the 100 safest days of summer. Today at the high school, UDOT, Zero Fatalities, and UHP kicked off their 100 deadliest days of summer campaign. ABC 4's Jason Wynn is live in Riverton with more on the challenge. Jason? Emily, 100 students got shirts just like this to say don't drive stupid and they also held up signs as a reminder like with things like this that says do the wave when somebody lets you in. In 2018, Zero Fatalities says 102 people died during the 100 deadliest days of summer. It makes me really sad because like people like will stay off their phones and like they just they do all these things that they don't really realize the long term effects of it and that just it makes me sad. Michelle Cooper in the Silver Wolves of Riverton High issued a challenge to Utah to make the next 100 days the safest of all summer. It's not enough to just be a good driver. You have to always watch out for everybody else on the road as well. Troopers are already seeing a deadly year. At least 84 right now. And so uh, this isn't a good start. We're hoping to see some behavioral changes. Zero Fatality says last year, 26 people died because of aggressive drivers. Some of that was people riding too close to each other or cutting someone off. If they're going 70 plus miles an hour on a roadway that's posted at that speed, you're the problem if you're tailgating them. And I will stop that car versus the person who's not letting you pass. Troopers say reflective clothing will help out everyone when it's dark out. If you're out there on a motorcycle, on a, on a bicycle, or, or walking along the roadway, running along the roadway, you've got to do yourself a favor and wear some high visibility clothing. It could save your life. For Cooper, her biggest hope for the class of 2019 is to put down their phones while behind the wheel. A distraction that could only be like two seconds long, even less than that, could cause like huge life effects. And there's just, there's no point of like doing something so small for like such a long term effect. Emily, the other challenge that the students here are issuing is for Utah drivers just to wear their seatbelts. It's the easiest way to avoid dying in a crash. I'm Jason Wynn, live in Riverton, ABC4 News.